Welcome to What is Social Studies? So, what is social studies? Do you know? Social studies is the study of social sciences. We typically look at four main parts of social studies, history, geography, government, and economics. Our grade six theme is regions and people of the Eastern Hemisphere. When you were in fifth grade, you learned about the Western Hemisphere. Do you remember? What line separates the Western and Eastern Hemispheres? Let's check out a map and see if you can remember. What line separates the Eastern and Western Hemispheres? Well, it's the Prime Meridian. The Prime Meridian. Let's look at that map again. What continents are part of the Eastern Hemisphere? Now I know Antarctica is in the Eastern and Western Hemispheres. We're not gonna be studying that continent because it's uninhabited. But which Eastern Hemisphere continents will we study this school year? The continents of the Eastern Hemisphere that we will study are Africa, Asia, Australia, and Europe. In grade six, you will study the Eastern Hemisphere, its geographic features, early history, cultural development, and economic change. You will learn about the development of river civilizations in Africa and Asia, including their governments, cultures, and economic systems. The geographic focus includes the study of contemporary regional characteristics, the movement of people, products, and ideas, and cultural diversity. You will develop your understanding of the role of consumers and the interaction of markets, resources, and competition. As we study different civilizations, we're going to find out that every civilization has grapes. Not these kind of grapes, silly. <laughs> grapes is a great way for us to remember the different factors to analyze world civilizations and cultures. The G stands for geography. Geography is how the Earth's surface, climate, and landscape affect people's lifestyles. The R stands for religion, a society's belief system and its related morals and traditions. A is for achievements, the lasting works and noteworthy contributions of a society. P is for politics, the government and power structure of a society who runs that society. E is for economics, how a society uses its resources such as goods and money. Finally, we have S, social structure, the organization of people into different levels or classes in a society. Those are our grapes. Remember, every civilization has grapes. But we also need to remember where you live determines how you live. So let's see what grapes we can find just by looking at pictures. As you look at the different places, think about the geography, religion, achievements, politics, 
economics, and social structure for each location. What can you figure out just by seeing these locations? Are some of these aspects of civilizations easier to see than others? I'm interested to see what you discover. Location number one. Let's share what we already know based on those images. Are you surprised by what you already know? There's lots of the aspects of grapes that you probably already know just from looking at different images of places around the world. I'm excited for us to learn more about the regions and people of the Eastern Hemisphere. All right, that's it for me. Take care. Peace.